Good morning, everyone. It is day three of our Disney cruise, and today we are in Mexico. Looks like we are pulling into port right now, and I'm really excited. We have a fun activity planned for today. Of course, first thing I did today was I started with coffee. I went up to the concierge lounge, got some coffee. I have to admit though, last night I didn't sleep nearly as well as I did the first night. I kind of kept getting up and I was like tossing and turning. Granted, we had that big dinner from Palo last night, so I wasn't the most comfortable when I went to bed. So we don't have a ton of time this morning because our little excursion starts pretty early. We have to be downstairs at I believe like 845. But today we are going to, oh I should have brought it on my phone, hold on. Today's activity is Rosarito Beach Break with tacos and margaritas. So yeah, it's an excursion that we got where we just lounge on the beach all day and we get to try authentic Mex Mexican tacos and margaritas. So. Another like super chill, relaxing day. Um, very much looking forward to it. All right, and we are about to dock here in Ensenada, Mexico, Baja, California, and we're met with some wildlife, some sea lions, quite noisy. I'm not sure what a pack of sea lions is, but I should look that up. But uh, wildlife has been pretty fun, the whole trip. We are on our way down to, I think the, was the D Lounge, the I think D -Lounge. it was what it's called, yeah. where we're going to meet up with our group and they're going to drive us to the beach. So we're in Ensenada right now. Yeah. And I guess it's about an hour drive to the beach we're going to. Yeah. A coastal drive. A coastal drive. Now we just wait. Yep. We got so our towels. We have four more minutes until our scheduled time that we're supposed to be here. So yeah. I'm guessing we'll have a few more waiting periods yeah. <laughs> before we actually disembark just got off the ship it's pretty impressive like when you walk out and you can look up and see your ship man this thing is enormous looks like there's a an, a, an a carnival cruise over there docked so i was a little nervous earlier because it's been really chilly but it feels really nice out here yeah with the sun on us no i think we're gonna be okay You'll have to indulge me for a bit. I just had to get this big sweeping shot of our ship. I could not take my eyes off it. It's, it was so impressive to me when I saw it. But one thing I wanted to mention was that our drive, as we mentioned, it was about an hour to the actual beach. Our tour guide, Andres, was amazing. He spent the entire drive talking about the local city, landmarks, points of interest as we passed them. He was a character. He was so much fun. We were we were learning so much about the area. I didn't get to talk about it on camera because I was so I wanted to make sure I heard everything he was saying. But we had a fantastic drive to the beach. Every time you see these characteristics along the coast, like a semicircular bay area, almost like a horseshoe or like a half moon bay, uh, we call it an Ensenada. Well surrounded, protected by hills. And this is the perfect example. Also, my friends, uh, this tour has uh, tacos and margaritas included. Yeehaw! Right? So, uh, of course, and if you have kids, uh, you can drink their margaritas, right? Nah, just kidding. <laughs> So my friends, uh, everybody's gonna give you, well, not everybody. Once we get there, uh, you're gonna meet our host and everybody's getting um, uh, three tickets that uh, you can exchange for uh, your margaritas, uh, beverages, and you're gonna get uh, a ticket that you can exchange for your two tacos. Okay, we made it. So that was about like an hour drive on yep. the bus. And so now here we are. <laughs> All right, so we found a spot. So we're right next to a speed. We're right next to a speaker, so I wanted to film. Okay, so we're right next to a speaker, so it's a little bit loud, but here's our little, this like our cabana bed we got going on here, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a beautiful beach location out here, so yeah. we're excited to be able to settle in here. We're gonna be here for three hours, so it should be pretty fun. But as you can see, we've got our beach view here, and then we're gonna be, so we've got three margaritas and some tacos to try. Voice over mic jumping in here really quick because I keep uploading this video and we get copyright claims from this music. But I didn't want you to miss out on this beautiful shot we have of the beach. It was so beautiful. But yeah, this music was just so loud. We are right next to the speaker. All right, here we are. Little man's first time in Mexico. I mean, it's all of our first times in Mexico, but this is a pretty beach. But he wanted to go out. I'm a little chilly and it's nice and windy. So I'm gonna hold off on getting in the water just yet but little man you know he's got no fear and it looks like he's are you spelling your name in the sand oh that's great 
Look at that A. Good work. <laughs> Look at that. Even on vacation, we can practice our letters. There you go. Hey, that looks great. Oh, perfect. Now everyone knows that Caleb was here. Give me five, man. Make sure he got that. Okay, I think Steve ordered Caleb a pina colada and so now Caleb just ditched me. He's just going right up by myself. Oh, wow. How is it? Good? Yeah, good. Come on, boy. Coconut, right? Yeah. Come on. And then we get, so we got tickets and they cover for the classic margaritas. So that's what Steve and I are enjoying. So we got a few sips of margarita. A little man got a few sips of his pina colada. We had to go back to get his swim mask. And he's gonna brave getting in that water. Whoa, look at that. Okay, I am heading back to the bed right now. The water is very, very cold. I don't see Caleb staying out there for very long. Um, but you know what? I'm glad because we've got the music. We've got a nice little canopy bed of sorts. And we've got margaritas and tacos on the way. This is gonna be great. So here is a quick look at our tacos. I went with the steak tacos and Steve got a combo of the steak and the chicken. Now we didn't have a menu, so I'm not able to describe exactly each and every ingredient that's on this. But as you can see, it's got the meat. They're on corn tortillas. They've got some pico de gallo, some lime, some guacamole. These were so delicious. I wish we had gotten more, but uh, we were running a little bit short on time at this point, but man, Mexican tacos on a Mexican beach. Oh, I can finally say I did it. Whatever you do, I am always dance. way too slow with this camera. Little man was totally dancing okay. and I missed it. And of course, you know, when I asked him to do it, he wouldn't do it again. Let me help you. Okay. As you can see, little man was struggling trying to keep the towel over his arm and eat a taco, but that's when dad comes in and gives him a hand. You gotta do the taco dance. <laughs> As you can see, he's having a great time here. Tacos, the beach. What do we have here? Dad wants some shells. Oh, some shells. That's nice. Oh, they look pretty. Here, let's flip them over so we can see them. Oh, wow. Can you hear the ocean? So the tacos were very, very good. I had the steak tacos and Steve and Caleb got the combo where you got one steak, one chicken. Yeah, he's been loving these tacos. So we've been told that we're leaving in about 15 minutes, so we had some tickets left, so we got one last margarita each. That's right. Yeah. I think this was fun. Yeah. It was cold, but it was fun. It was a little chilly, yeah. yeah. I don't think we dressed properly for the season and where we visited, so. Right. <laughs> but I think it was good to get off the shit, explore good experience. the destination, yeah. Well, yeah, as we mentioned, that was a fun little excursion. Something different, something we've never done. I've never been to Mexico before, so I can say I've done this now. Mexican beach, tacos on the beach. Uh, but now we are heading back to our bus, which will take us back to the ship. The bus is ready. Very, very windy out here, but we are back to the ship. And so now we're heading back on. <laughs> we just got off a very, Colorful elevator. Little yes. man, he just, he makes friends with everybody and he just tells it like it is. <laughs> we had a very crowded elevator and he was just keeping everyone entertained. <laughs> hey, where's the room? 
back in our room and it looks like they've given us some pirates pirates of the caribbean like what do they call these like bandanas i'm guessing it's pirate night so we completely failed we did not bring any pirate stuff for tonight so this will come in handy okay so we have freshened up we are obviously we're back from our excursion um we rested for a little bit i got re i got ready because i i don't want to be wearing a hat at dinner tonight um but yeah we've just been hanging out in our stateroom for a little bit but i wanted to show you uh the sea lions outside so looking out just from the deck of our stateroom or the veranda rather it says ensenada mexico so and oh and there's a carnival cruise right there but um, we are actually here until seven o'clock. That's when we're gonna push off, but check this out. We've got these like uh, barking. Oh no, this thing just started. <laughs> Never fails, right? But we had some barking sea lions just outside of our window, which is kind of funny. All right, so before we go to dinner and let's see what time it is. Oh, so we have dinner in about 40 minutes, probably a little less than that. Um, we're decided, we decided to check out the French Quarter Lounge, and you're going to notice I'm wearing my jacket. I have found that this cruise ship is insanely cold everywhere we go, so I am now wearing jeans. I, I threw out my cruise attire. I am now in jeans and my jacket, and I can't begin to tell you how much more comfortable I am right now. <laughs> And I'm just comfortable here in my yeah. shorts and short sleeve <laughs> button-up shirts. So. so I was kind of wearing stuff like this for yeah. the cruise, but I'm, I am just so cold. I'm good, I'm good. So yeah. we just run at different temps, I guess. <laughs> so we are making our way. Oh, in case we weren't clear, uh, tonight is pirate night. It and is. so here's, here's Steve's my pirate attempt. garb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just in my jeans and jacket. So yeah, we are on our way up to Animator's Palette, which is where we're having dinner tonight. Oh wow, check this place out. Oh, here we are, table 82. Oh, look at you got a pirate hat, man. That's cool. Okay, so we are at our table and Little Man has got a pirate's hat, which has got the menu on it, which is really cute. I, I left it upside down. There we go, Siegel model it for us. <laughs> so you can put it on, which I'm not gonna break you. It's pretty cool. It's Pirates of the Caribbean because it is Pirates theme, and you have the menu here with several different options, a variety for the kids. I think we're going to land on pizza for him and maybe start with the soup. So, yeah. Uh, soup and pizza. Should be, that's a great combo, right? <laughs> Who doesn't want soup and pizza? Okay, so looking at their menu, as you can see, it's pirate themed for the night. And what's interesting, though, is that I've been looking at the menus on the Navigator app this whole time, and tonight, the menu is a little bit different because I had my heart set on the uh, veal osobuco and it's not on the menu tonight. Tonight it's been replaced with a lamb shank and I'm not a huge fan of lamb. Um, I don't, I don't, I really don't care how good it's prepared. I always find it gamey. So I may have to go with like my classic steak tonight because I think that's what sounds the best. Our bread is here, and it looks like we've got the whole wheat bread again, and the, like the classic dinner roll. But tonight, I think the new inclusion is the cornbread. So they said it was a mango cornbread. Oh, okay. Said. So that sounded delicious. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That cornbread is wonderful. Very good. Mmm. Perfect. All right, the starter for tonight really caught my eye. It's a deep fried crab cake. I love a good crab cake. And so this one looks great. I love that it's deep fried because I feel like it takes a little bit of the edge off if you don't like that seafoody taste, which I usually don't. But um, And it looks like it's served with a little bit of a remoulade here. Very excited about this one. Sometimes you gotta trade out your food with the kid. We had a little trade out here. Yeah. Steve is eating Caleb's kid's soup, <laughs> and Caleb is eating dad's grown up soup. Yeah, so they had like a mango chilled soup on the adult menu. It sounded really delicious, um, but it was chilled. I tried him, like, he's gonna love this. So he's, he's drinking a smoothie right now and really enjoying it. Dinner is here and holy steak. This is King George's Roasted Privateer Strip Loin and it's served with thyme roasted potatoes, buttered Savoy cabbage, Yorkshire pudding, and a rosemary wine sauce. It smells so good. And I love some Yorkshire pudding. 
Um, yeah, this is an. You guys, check this out. This is enormous. <laughs> and for my meal, I got the recommended jerk chicken. This is Tia Dama's jerk chicken, which is 48 hour jerk marinated chicken, grilled and served with rice and peas, fried plantains, and a pineapple chili salsa. Smells amazing. Look at that. Oh, well, can't see your face. <laughs> That's a silly one. You look like uh, you look Tyler like Ever you look like Church. Cone of Shame. Are you wearing the Cone of Shame? All right, it is time for dessert, and little man went with the kids brownie. Look at that thing. Does that look good, man? And I went with tonight's signature dessert, and it's a macadamia nut cheesecake tort. Looks really great. Yes. In case some of you are wondering, oh man, guys, why didn't you get up there and do the pirate dance? Little Man is not a fan of situations like this. I think he gets a little intimidated. And let's not forget, dessert just arrived, so he wanted to sit there, relax, and enjoy his sweet treat. All right, just like that, our dinner here at Animator's Palette is, has come to a close. You ready, Mr. Pirate? Oh, what's going on tonight? Oh my. Look at that. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. That's funny. <laughs> Do you know that animal? I don't. What kind of animal is that? They love my sunglasses, though, don't they? <laughs> hey, it's going to eat your carrot. And this, believe it or not, was the only night of our cruise where we forgot to do an outro. So here it is. As you saw, we had a really great day. If you caught our last video, then you know we passed on the excursions at Catalina Island, largely because the activities offered there were more teen-centric, and we knew that a day at the pools on the ship would be something Caleb would much rather do. But the excursion to Rosarito Beach, we knew Little Man loves going to the beach, playing in the sand and experiencing the waters. It was right up his alley. Now I'm sure we're gonna get asked, no, we didn't see the fireworks on pirate night. You may have noticed Caleb was already starting to get a little tired at dinner and the fireworks weren't until around 10.30, I believe. And he was fast asleep long before that. But you know, that just means we'll have to make more of an effort next time on the next cruise, right? One more thing, now please don't take this the wrong way. We've been reading the comments on our cruise videos. Yeah, we had a rocky start because we discovered firsthand how crazy Embarkment Day can be. And many of you let us know that you can find that first day to be a little stressful as well. We didn't put that in the vlog to drag the cruise line or to ruin the experience for anyone. We were just vlogging our time and providing our honest opinions as we do in every one of our videos. Now, if it's not clear, we got past that first day pretty quickly and we've been having an awesome time on The Wonder. The ship is incredible. The amenities are great. The crew is quite possibly the best and most friendly we've ever encountered. And the food has been delicious. However, our dinner at Animator's Palette, of course, again, this was pirate night and we were subject to the pirate menu. This was probably our least favorite of the cruise. Now, after we disembarked, we met up with a friend of ours in Disneyland for a couple days and she told us that the pirate menu is her least favorite menu as well and that it is the same no matter which cruise you take, which ship you're on, the pirate menu is always the same. So she usually makes her reservations for Palo on that night. This got me thinking that might be a great idea and I'm curious to know what your thoughts are on the pirate night menu. Let me know in the comments below. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video and we hope you've enjoyed following along on our adventures on the Disney Wonder. Nearing the end of our journey, we have only one video left of our four night Baja cruise. It will be our day at sea and you won't wanna miss that. So go ahead and make sure you're subscribed to our channel, ring the bell so you don't miss an upload. And from our magic family to yours, enjoy. <laughs>